So first we will understand internal table with header line. However, this concept has been obsolete, but still we have to uh, know because many places you will see that uh, this concept has been used and code had been written, you know, many places. So if you don't know this concept, it will be uh, difficult for you to understand the code. However, you know, it is not very much required, but I will quickly show you. Okay. And then uh, we'll be having a quick revision of type declaration and I will be showing you some more other way how we can define the work area and internal table quickly. Okay, let's uh, go to the system and see these two stuff. So first, internal table with header line SC38 so internal table with header line and like keyword and data declaration using like keyword. Click on the save button, local object. And here it is. So till now we have seen how to define the, you know, local structure. So we used to use this one types, begin of TS and recall, let's suppose from Mara, I want to fetch the data, some, mat nar type mat nar then mtart type mtart then matkl type matkl and end of ts underscore mara so this is how the local structure we have been defining local structure and with reference to this local structure, we have been defining the internal table and work area. So if you are defining the internal table, GT underscore Mara, we have been using type table of TS underscore Mara. If you are defining the work area, WA underscore Mara, type TS underscore Mara. So this is the internal table. And this is what we have the walk area, right? Now, and also like, you know, if you have to define the table type, we again use the types statement. This also we have seen, tt underscore Mara type, table of ts underscore Mara. So this is your table type, right? So with reference to table type, if you want to declare internal table, simply you have to write uh, GT underscore Mara type TT Mara, right? So both internal table, you know, this and this internal table. You know, so internal table is same. The way of declaration is different. One. The first one I'm taking, I'm, I'm defining using the structure. So when you are defining using the structure, we have to use the type table of. When we are defining using the table type, we have to write the type, okay? So th these things we already know, right? These things we already know, internal table using table type. internal table using a structure. Now, you know, now we want to see some more way of defining so that you can understand quickly, okay? So here, here, here when I'm checking, it's telling GT Mara was already declared. Yes, it's already declared here. So I'm just giving some other name, you know, so error will not come or I will have to comment, 
okay fine now uh, mm -hmm. sorry that second one mm -hmm. internal table using internal table mm -hmm. so if i just want a copy of the internal table this is how i have to do it i mean uh, I second one means this one is it yeah yeah i huh internal table using table type so if you want to define this internal table using this table type you just have to use the keyword type because table type you are using so table type i'm declaring over here here you can see that tt underscore mara i'm using all right table type means another table is that yeah what? type of the table yes table type means the type of the table A structure okay. means the line type of the table okay okay table type will include the line type also you can see that when i'm declaring that table type using the types statement right so okay yeah okay so this is what you have just have a rough idea you don't have to go inside so that you know you will understand the code okay uh, <clears throat> now what actually i'm trying to tell you can use the like statement here also instead of type you can use the like statement here also to define the however this has been obsolete way but many places you will be able to see the like so like using the like also we can do when you use the like you, you have to define like this mara hyphen matner you know when you use the type you can define like type data element or mara hyphen mtar so for type you can use in the both way you can give here the data element and uh, or you can give the table name hyphen you know the field name so in the both way it is okay there is no issue but using the like using the like like only supports the table that means a structure basically you know a structure hyphen mtar okay so here like and here also you can give the like so type supports both when you are using the like you have to give like this mara hyphen matkl okay so this is what this is also the same there is no error and it is the same work area so this is one another way okay this is one another way how you can define one well the, 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 this is the structure right now let's come to the internal table part see here uh, sap have earlier given the concept of internal table uh, with header line okay what is this internal table with header line i will show you see w underscore mara hyphen matnr equals to let's suppose you show one we are having w a underscore i'm just preparing one internal table okay m tart equal to uh roh and w a underscore mara hyphen m a t k l material group let's suppose a group of material uh m a t g one something like this okay and append w a underscore mara to i t g t underscore mara right so one record a happy but similarly i'm going to prepare some couple of records so here i'll be two here i'll put halb okay so one another record and material group i will keep same and one more record i will just you know three and here and material group is something like this i have prepared now here you can see that in order to populate this internal table you would require one word area okay so initially sap thought that why to have the two object you know why not to declare this work area along with this internal table itself right so that's the concept came as an internal table with header line means you are using this internal table as a work area also okay internal table with header line means you are using this you are using this internal table as a work area also how 
so they use like this see this is when you have the internal table it is like this right here you have three records uh in in the current scenario we are having the three records this is record number one here record number two and record number three right first number material second and third and here of course you will be having the field name right any internal table will be having the field name so here you can see that material mtart matnr and uh, mtart right matnr mtart uh, mtart and this is the matkl mat Okay, so three field we are having in this internal table. So how the SAP we are using this internal table as a work area? They were using this header as a work area because here also you have three fields, right? So they thought why to declare an, uh, again another work area and you know, means it, just to save the time like that they started. But however, this concept has been obsolete. We are not supposed to use, but the purpose before using means long back from very beginning this was there means from 1995 when ABAP came into picture okay from that later they realized they were found they found some drawback or something else you know i don't know exactly what happened but this had been you know obsolete there are many syntaxes have been obsolete but still they are compatible means it will not create the issue but the sap suggests that you don't have to use so in the further development you don't use internal table with header line you have to use like this the way we were using first define the work area you define separately the internal table you know it will this this will improve the readability also you know this will improve the readability internal table with header line concept creates the confusion also you know I will show you, you will also get confused when I will write the code, okay? But this is the concept. They will use the header as a work area, 